very significant for us at Diamond. Uh, the DJEC program has been uh, cash limited over the last couple of years and uh, so we've been able to progress the program at a slow rate and with the financial backing of Medrar we'll be able to accelerate the program now and finally bring it to its conclusion. The program is very far advanced, technically the aircraft is really good and um, we're looking at a timeline of approximately two to two and a half years to bring the aircraft through to certification and the initial deliveries to customers. One of the things that Medra was very happy with when they looked at our program is that we've got a very solid order. The order book for the DJET is uh, very good. We've got just over 200 orders. It represents a value of about $350 million. What we're particularly happy with is that um, we have a mix of uh, customers. The primary initial market for the DJET is the owner flown market. And so most of the orders are individual orders. We have a few customers who have ordered more than one unit, and we do have some fleet customers, uh, but they represent relatively small fleets. ATP, for example, ordered 20 units. What we don't have in our order book is we don't have any single customer that represents an order larger than 20, and that makes us very comfortable because we don't want the dependency of uh, for example, an air taxi operator uh, having placed an order for a very large number of aircraft and then potentially not transacting. So we feel that our risk is uh, relatively low uh, because it's spread amongst so many individual different customers. The DJ program is headquartered at our London, Ontario facility in Canada. Uh, we do all the R&D work there, uh, the prototype work, the tooling, the certification. With this investment, we'll be able to ramp up our personnel again. Uh, we had a fairly uh, large workforce and uh, regrettably we had to reduce that uh, several months ago and now we're in a position with this investment from Medrar uh, Financial to bring people back and to hire new people. The aircraft will be produced at the London facility. Uh, we have a very good work team there that's already uh, have been working for a long time building the piston aircraft, the gasoline power DA-20 and DA-40 and also doing the DA-42, the diesel powered aircraft. So we have the facilities, we have the skill set, we have the infrastructure, and that makes it much easier to bring a new aircraft uh, into production than a complete greenfield facility uh, starting from scratch.